And welcome to the Beethos Path. Insert any uh, Tales and Symphony jokes you may want to right here. So we want to drop down to the hole. Does not only do we have enemies to fight. Hopla! Yeah, these guys hurt. So I want to hit him with down for us. Oh, so let's see, you got 96. I've got 200. So yeah, I just want to grind uh, against the enemies in this room. This won't take long. They don't have a lot of HP, just be a nuisance. Unfortunately, the down thrust only hits them once. And they drop effective enough healing items. Kind of get you all together here. I'll take a hit or two every so often. It's not a big deal. There we go. There's a level up already. So 2181. I'm curious. I may I may gain another level here just to be thorough. So long as the experience is good, always good to get an extra level or two. Uh, 1707. Let's check it after this set, so I may I'm just focus on moving forward. I'll, I'll gain another level. These guys are good enough. I mean, one level in this game can make the difference between life or death very easily. I'm just playing it safe. Oh yeah. Should be done after another run through both rooms. In fact, I, yeah, there's more up there. Nice thing is, yeah, they're fr fairly generous with the healing items. I just need to not get hit. I'm trying to, I'm trying to look at my nose at the same time as fighting here. <laughs> then again, that's, that's normal. So there we go. Already got the level. Holy cow! Twenty-five, sixty. Now the way forward is through that door right there. I want to explore a little bit. Okay, I will not intentionally grind for another level. So we, we just come in here to go downstairs. Yeah, I'll kill all the bugs up here at the very least. That all of them? Yeah, we're back at the beginning. And we'll just take you guys out. Sadly, we cannot bounce off the enemies with the down thrust like Link or Master Higgins can. I was trying to get all of them. Oh well. <laughs> there we go. Yield up. 1858. Yeah, not worth not worth staying for another grind. Suddenly, Adol's sword resonated with the door. He decided to swing at it without doing anything else. Any enemies in here? But no, we got some nice murals here. What could they be saying? Hey! You know, that kind of that looks familiar. It almost as if I'm holding a sword like that. Gee! As for these other murals, well, they will eventually make sense. Oh, hi. Looks like I need the right key to open it. Guess I'll just have to find some other way. Well, well, what do we got here? Never thought I'd run into someone else in a place like this. Who are you, anyway? You sure don't look like you came from the town. Adol introduced himself and explained how he recently washed up on these islands. Adol? Adol Christian? <laughs> you really never know what fate's gonna throw your way. Fancy meeting the legendary Adol the Red here at a time like this. I've heard all kinds of rumors about you. Mostly ones about you being a real goody two-shoes who can't keep his nose out of other people's business. I don't think I could let a chance like this slip me by, even if I wanted to. How about it? After seeing how much of a fight you can muster against my halberd? Prove to me the blue endless sword of yours isn't just for show. And yep, we, uh, sudden fight. So we just kind of want to get him while he's open. And he's doing better than we are. 
Fortunately, just hit him until he starts blocking, and we should be fine. Oh. Yeah, he gets the jump attack too, but uh, we should win. Yeah, not not a big deal. Uh, team achievement for beating him, by the way. Not bad, not bad at all. Goody two shoes or no? At least you know your way to ride a sword. Name's Geese. I've been waiting to do that this whole time. <laughs> I'm an adventurer like you, but I dabble in a bit of mercenary work on the side when I feel like it. Now, on the other side of these ruins is a place called Cannon Island. There's a town there where all the people who have washed up from Europe live. Why don't you just sit tight and mind your own affairs for once in your life? It's for your own good. Alright, so we got a free heal, and I did not level up from that. I'm actually surprised. Okay, so... Depending on what enemies we fight, I may want to get a little bit more money. Oh, 700 ought to be a good start. I may sell a cup of water. Yeah, we got uh, about three from each of these guys. Not, not a big deal. So if you, if you need to do any more grinding, this is probably the room to do so. Got a bunch of these guys in here. Nice crit. 1298. I'm going to fight one more set in here just to see how much experience I'm still getting. Oh. I got wombo combo! Ow, 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 ow. You guys are more dangerous than Geese was. And, ooh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and get another level in here. This will only take about uh, three, three and a half more passes. Gotta do it while it's viable, in all honesty. And hey, more ammo? I'm not complaining. Yeah, take him down to three thrusts. Not, not bad at all. Get them all grouped together. Now, funnily enough, in the next game, Ultra Felgana, there's another room that's gonna be similar to this where I do a lot of early game grinding. <laughs> I'm just reminded of that for whatever reason. I'll point it out. We're, we're definitely playing King Man after this. Yeah, I'll get that level. That is the nice thing, is when grinding can be done quickly, it can be done quickly. There we go. This guy's only doing one damage. Still takes me three hits to take them out, but... Yeah, we're good. I see that ammo. Yeah, six more in here. Who would have thought that becoming a bug exterminator would be so lucrative in terms of experience? Yeah, get get all together over here. This is a bug hunt, man! A bug hunt! But say, am I gonna get another level getting out of here? Answer is most assuredly no. I only got about 300 experience from the set. I'll take a free heal though. Is there one more over here? Yes, it was. Squish. Oh, more of them. Well, uh. Hey, my friends on the other island want to use this passage. So I'm going to make it safe for them. Even though these things respawn, and they'd have to fight them anyway. I don't care. There we go. In terms of that, not enough greens. Hey, we're outside. Ah, we may already take as much stone from here as this area as we're able. Looks like we're going to need to start taking it from underground then. Not looking forward to having to take care of all the insects down there first. Uh, I already got them. You're fine. From my experience, those should pose no trouble. My concern lies more in angering the Criterion people. Ah, oh, come on. Who cares what those tailed freaks think? They got nothing to do with us. All we need to do is think about making our own lives safer and more comfortable. That's Master Balsam's way. And I'm with him every step of it. I suppose you're right. Oh? Uh-oh. 
what the? How'd you end up in there? You sure don't look familiar. Are you the mercenary who washed up here a while back? No, he's not. He seems to be a new arrival. In any case, it's a pleasure to meet you. I am Lloyd of the Balsam Trading Company. This man is our associate, Saxon. Based on your appearance, you've come from Europe as well. Would you mind if I ask how you came to be in the Underground Passage? Adol introduced himself and explained everything that had happened since his arrival at Ankater Island. I see. So you were rescued by the Raider, then. And you say the Underground Passage extends across the seafloor all the way to Katera Island? The most interesting find. We should inform Master Bastion at once. You must be one gutsy bastard to make your way through the dangerous place like that. How about it? You fancy working under Master Bastion? Life is damn good if you do. You'll forget how you washed up here in no time. Now, now, Zaxxon. We must impress him. I'll be returning to Master Bastion as we agreed. Can I leave the bridge of surveillance to you? Yeah, yeah. Leave it to me. All right. Be seeing you, newcomer. Maybe we'll get a chance to have a drink together sometime. If you make a detour east from here, you'll find yourself in Port Remorge, the town which we call our home. I refer you to my employer, Master Basilum, so I insist you come visit his mansion once you're able. He acts as both representative and leader of our town, so it might be wise to solicit an audience with him. Now, if you will excuse me. Well, it's quiet here. Go ahead and just check things out. This probably just takes us to the bridge. Yep, it's one, it's one busted bridge, all right. I'm not sure it's even possible to repair this from our side alone. So we got to do the usual get it the two tribes to work together thing. All I hear is footsteps in the wind. Nice cloud coverage, though. And hey, new music. The Port Moore's Coast. We got a lot to explore in this area. And we got our sword put away, so all we can do is uh, talk to everybody. Oh, you must be new here. Welcome to my humble establishments. You must have been through some rough times recently to have ended up here. Huh? A white mirror? Mm, no, I'm sorry. I'm afraid I've never heard of any such thing. If it concerns the Raider, it may be worth asking the professor. He lives in the wooden house on the southern end of town. Welcome. Oh, I haven't seen you around before. Are you new here? You must have been through a lot. Make yourself comfortable here, okay? Oh, my ship! My cargo! If he calls a ship the sweet candy, we're playing the wrong game. My pride is a ramen merchant, and now I'm stranded here with no way to get off these islands. My life's over! Huh? Wow, I haven't seen one of those in a while. You've got a knack for finding rare goods, eh? How about I make you a deal? You willing to trade that capital water for something of mine? Answer is yes! Right you are, my friend! Here you go! So, the ML Mallet! Draw in more ML! One of the main reasons catastrophe mode becomes easier than normal mode. Thanks! Having this will make me feel a lot better next time I'm in a pinch during a hunt. I'll be sure to make good use of it. So, sorry Isha, your gift was nice. We just have something more useful already. So, increase the ML obtained by owner. And we'll get those stats back with another level up. We'll, we'll get some new equipment coming up shortly. Are you a new member of our dear community? My name is August. As you can see, I'm a wandering minstrel. Oh my, that sword you have is an unusual one. A red-haired swordsman carrying an endless blade. I can feel a song coming out already. You're not gonna make me sing, are you? And nobody in here. Can't quite make out what that painting is. I don't know if it's a reference to something or just a generic painting. Actually, recently we played the Secret of Mana remake and loved the Easter eggs they put with the paintings in there. Oh, your name was Adol, was it not? Wasting no time coming to see Master Bastlem, I see. Well, it was on the way. Welcome to the Bastion Training Company. I hope you enjoy your visit. I don't know what that last line was. I probably missed it. <laughs> ah, what magnificent red hair. So you must be the newcomer that Lloyd mentioned. The name's Bastion. I'm a merchant from Altago. I was stranded here about ten years ago or so, and I've been working on expanding town ever since. One might even say I'm the most important man in Remorge. <laughs> Surprise? Well, now it's your turn. How did you get here, young man? That all explained everything that had happened to him since he washed up on Katera Island. Oh, you ended up on Katera, did you? I'll be blunt. I can't stand those Raider. Especially Chief Ward, stubborn old mule. He grumbled about every little thing. Stop destroying our ruins. Stop cutting down all the trees. What's the problem with wanting to make our town bigger and more pleasant to live in? You want a better life? You have to put in the hard work and creativity necessary to get it. That's the way a merchant needs to live. No, if you ask me, that's the way everyone needs to live. Now, is there anything I can loot from you? No, it doesn't look like it. Now, there is a seat of power somewhere in town I definitely want to pick up. So keeping an eye out for that. The other items are event items. Oh, 
you must be the one Lloyd was telling me about. My name's Maple. I have a mate who works here at the mansion. I assume you were shipwrecked too? Girl, you look tired. Guess I'll take a nap. It's not that hard to figure it out. Everyone in town can't hear the same way. I'm sure you'll get along just fine. Oh, I was checking my notes for a second there. Trying to make sure I don't accidentally... Oh, are you new around here? You must have had it rough, poor kid. Everyone here came from outside the Ray Vortex. Newcomers are always welcome. Take it easy until you settle in. Alright, here's our main source of equipment for a while. Oh, I haven't seen you here before. Are you the new arrival Lloyd is talking about? My name's Rose. I'm part of the Bassam Trading Company. To tell you the truth, though, I preferred if I weren't working under that filthy old man and his hideous mustache. I don't know, the beard was a bit creepier. Oh, and the kid running the street stall outside my younger brother, Croa. Nice to meet you, new guy. I don't think I saw Croa. Anyhow, you have anything to say? You're an adventurer, aren't you? Hop to it then. Buy something. I must have something you want. You can pay with reasoning money, too. Oh, good, because the enemies dropped that. Okay, so, yeah, look at this. So, if we want to immediately buy out a part of the shop, we can sell a couple of those copper waters and be able to afford so be able to afford the best available armor. So, I'm going to go ahead and do just that. So can I afford both? I cannot. So the breastplate it is. And just going to get the round shield for the little boost. But this will give me enough money. I'll, I may come back for the magic talisman in a bit. I'll probably grind normally for the... for the sil Actually, what does the silver talisman do? Sil silver armlet. i got to mix up. The rest poison. Yep. Yeah. I don't think I need to worry about that just yet. If I get another cup of water, I'll sell it for the kite shield. But other than that, I'll start saving them until after I buy out her inventory. So yeah, 77. The 101. I don't have to worry about enemies for a while. Catastrophe mode is already paying off dividends. So, oh, there you are. Oh. Uh, what did I ever do to deserve running a street stall in this heat? My sister decided she wanted to run the shop next year on her own, so she shooed me out. What do you have to buy? So, this is what I was talking about. In Catastrophe Mode, you can buy as many of these seeds as you can carry. Of course, they are expensive, but they won't be needed until later, when we start getting a lot more gold. But the other thing is, we want to talk to him after we buy everything in Rosa's shop. I don't know why the mouse cursor appeared, I don't have it on, don't have it on the game. Oh, you new here? So you got washed up too, huh? Still, you should be glad you got away with your life after ending up in the Vortex. My name's Annis. I'm a fisherwoman. It's gonna be a pain getting used to life here at first, but we're all in this together, yeah? And I'm now looking for the blacksmith. Oh, would you look at that? I never thought the day would come when Chief Ward would entrust his blade to an Eurasian. My name is Liv. I'm a craftswoman who works with Emilis. Well, I suppose it wouldn't hurt. If Chief Ward thinks that highly of you, then I suppose I can help you however I'm able. Using the facilities in this forge, I'll be able to temper your endless sword for you. Tempering it will allow me to draw out its latent abilities so that you can use them in combat. In return, however, you're going to need to find the emblem necessary for tempering it yourself. Don't worry, I got the hammer for that. <laughs> Surely your male pride wouldn't let me do all the work now, hmm? Endless swords become stronger the more they're tempered. Gathering the power of the spirits in a sword and then releasing it allows you to unleash powerful attacks. Damage dealt by those attacks as well as their effects evolve the more the sword is tempered. Mind you, there's a limit to how much you can temper any sword. Well, let's see what we can do. So, does this just. This is only. Uh, this only costs ammo, not money. Oh, enable use of Maelstrom Magic. We can get one more. And. We need 34. And it's insufficient ammo. <laughs> so, we'll go ahead and uh, try that magic out once we get access to our sword again. In fact, I may just run outside and check it out. Let's talk to the rest of the townsfolk first. Uh, I'm a member of the trading company too, you know. So I must one such as I be relegated to Picard duty. What a travesty. Even criminal, I dare say. And we cannot pet the Pickards. We can't kill them in this one either. I think that's only needs one. Go ahead and check out the lighthouse. 
Ooh, nice view. In fact, part of the game gets cut off. <laughs> what? What? What's a black void? That's not Aurora Borealis. No, we're too far south of that. Nor are we in Principal Skeeter's kitchen. Ah, uh, hello, graphics. Graphics team, we, we we missed something when converting the game to HD. Yep, still there. <laughs> Maybe that's just part of the great vortex. It'll get fixed later. <laughs>